I wanted to start things off. I mean, we mentioned the snowy conditions, especially to our south. This was out of Branson today. Our, our morning meteorologist, Tom Schmidt, uh, took in this footage. This is about a two hour time lapse. And you can see how quickly that snow comes in, comes down and then moves out and the roads start to improve. It was really right when that snow was coming down and visibility's dropped to probably a quarter of a mile or less. So we're looking at at least moderate snow in that video. That's when the snow accumulated on the roads. And as soon as it let up, the uh, snow thawed away. Uh, and that's what makes these kinds of events really tricky because for the bulk of the day, it may be okay. But if you get a burst of snow, you can cover up those roads at least for a brief time. And during that brief time, boy, can the roads get slick. Here's some of the snow totals from across the area. Again, the snow focused over southwest uh, Missouri, northern Arkansas, and then we saw a little batch of it up toward uh, Howell County and Oregon County, getting into Shannon County. Uh, West Fork, Arkansas, near the Fayetteville area, three and a half inches. Fayetteville reporting two inches. Rogers, a little further north, one inch. Lanton, Missouri, heading east over toward Howell County, over an inch of snow. Mountain View, Missouri, reporting half an inch. And here in Springfield, I would say we probably, I mean, we definitely had a dusting. Uh, on the uh, rooftops, the car tops, and on some of the grassy surfaces, but uh, that was about all we got. Uh, looking at where it is right now, you can see that it's starting to exit the Ozark. Still a little bit of snow flying here, uh, probably east of Winona, down towards the uh, Ash Flat area. That should be shutting down, but we're not done with the precipitation overnight tonight. I, I think with some upper level energy to our west, we're going to continue to squeeze out some drizzle, maybe flurries, but probably more likely uh, drizzle uh, during the overnight hours tonight. And then on Saturday, we've got some more upper level energy lined up back here. That's going to keep this damp, dreary pattern going through the day Saturday into Saturday night before we finally clear things out. So looking at our forecast tonight, the, the heavier precipitation moves out. But in its wake, we're going to find fog and we're going to find drizzle, maybe a few flurries. Tomorrow, I think we're going to find patchy drizzle on and off throughout the day. And that's going to spill into, I think, Saturday evening. And I think there may be an opportunity in there during the evening hours or overnight hours for maybe some snow showers, uh, especially further north as a system passes through the area. Sunday, I'm optimistic that we're going to find a lot of sunshine on Sunday. Won't be completely clear, but a lot more sunshine on Sunday, and then I'll get us back into the upper 40s for highs. Uh, tonight, temperatures will tend to hold steady. Now, I, I think areas to the east where we find some drizzle, I'm concerned that it could be freezing drizzle. And overnight tonight, I do also am concerned that we could find very low visibilities. It'll be patchy at first, but I think maybe by morning it becomes more widespread. That fog will ease during the morning hours on Saturday. Uh, temperatures are not going to warm much. They're going to be like today. It looks like generally mid to upper 30s. A few spots could hit 40. And then tomorrow night, we're back down to 28 once we clear the clouds out. And on Sunday, we're looking at highs in the mid to upper 40s across the area with the possibility of hitting 50 down in northwest Arkansas. Storm next week, I really don't have any change in thoughts on that. Uh, looks like we're going to see primarily rain to start off, although further north up towards central Missouri and over toward maybe the Salem area, we could see snow on Monday into Monday evening with that system. Now on the back side of it, based on this track, I still think central Missouri is favored for the heavy snow. This is where we could be looking at maybe six inches. A foot is not out of the question. Further south, though, for southern Missouri and in northwest Arkansas, I think we'll see much lighter accumulations, but snow is on the table. Then we get a break Wednesday into Thursday with another potential winter storm at the end of next week. So, you know, we're looking at maybe one winter storm early in the week and another one going into the following weekend. All Guys? right, interesting.